When you order online overseas, chances are it's shipped with a shipping company. And one of those companies is one of the biggest in the world, Maersk. From food to cars, even the most basic household material, chances are Maersk shipped it. But how did Maersk grow? How did it dominate its industry? Let's find out today at Finance Per. But if you are interested in more videos about finance, technology, and business, check out our channel and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. Maersk started out small when Captain Peter Maersk bought his first steamship, the British-built SS Laura, which primarily operated between Denmark and the Russian Far East. Peter Maersk, alongside his son Arnold Peter Mahler, founded the predecessor to Maersk, the Svenborg Steamship Company in April 1904. In the years leading up to World War I, Maersk expanded its fleet and started venturing into new routes and markets. It was also at the end of the war that the company started building its own shipyard near the Odense Canal in the city of Odense in Denmark. And after a year of starting, the shipyard delivered its first ship, the Robert Maersk. Maersk also witnessed a rapid expansion, propelling the company into new horizons by diversifying its shipping services to create a broader range of regions. Among these expansions were routes extending to the Mediterranean and the Far East, cementing the company's presence in global trade routes. The post-war growth marked a pivotal era for Maersk as it solidified its position as a leading player in the shipping industry and set the stage for further ventures in international trade. But another war was looming over the horizon. World War II presented new challenges for Maersk as its vessels fell victim to enemy attacks, mainly German submarines or U-boats, leading to almost half of the fleet sinking or being destroyed. The United States also assumed control of foreign ships during the war in its merchant marine fleet, and the Maersk fleet was placed into service under the US Navy for the duration of the war. This strategic move not only safeguarded the remaining fleet, but also demonstrated Merck's commitment to supporting the Allied efforts during the war as Denmark fell under German occupation. But as the war took a toll on Maersk, the company persevered. And as the war ended, Maersk started to rebuild. Let's jump to the swinging 60s. And as the years go by, shipping evolves too. The introduction of containerization during the 1960s marked a groundbreaking revolution in the shipping industry, forever changing the way goods and cargo were transported across the globe. Recognizing the big potential of this new technology, Maersk promptly embraced container shipping, becoming an instrumental force in its widespread adoption as a global standard. And by fully committing to it, Maersk not only transformed its own operations, but also created a sweeping transformation in the logistics industry. The company's visionary approach to this innovative system led to remarkable enhancements in efficiency, streamlining loading and unloading processes, and reducing shipping costs for businesses worldwide. And this is led by the son of A.P. Mahler, Maersk McKinney Mahler. And as he quoted, I have always been confident about the company's future, but in the early 1960s, I was really convinced that we could take on the world. And under his leadership, Maersk embarked on a path of remarkable growth and diversification. As Maersk's growth surged in the 70s and 80s, the company recognized the potential for diversification beyond its shipping business. Maersk expanded its horizons into various industries to create new opportunities and bolster its global presence. Among its successful ventures, Maersk ventured into the oil and gas exploration sector, harnessing its expertise in logistics and maritime operations to explore and exploit valuable energy resources. The company also ventured into managing terminals and ports, enhancing its role in the supply chain by ensuring smooth cargo handling and efficient logistics solutions. 
Maersk also explored acquiring other companies and mergers. One of the most noteworthy milestones in its expansion journey was the acquisition of the prominent United States-based Sealand Service Inc. in 1999. This strategic move marked a significant turning point for Maersk as it solidified the company's foothold in the highly competitive American market. The integration of the two companies' resources and expertise resulted in synergistic advantages that enabled Maersk to offer more comprehensive and efficient shipping services to customers in the United States and beyond. As the new century starts, Maersk is ready to face the new challenges ahead. During this time, the company further solidified its position as a leading container shipping line, expanding its fleet and operations while embracing technological advancements to enhance efficiency and customer experience. Maersk also noticed the increasing environmental concerns with shipping and its effect on global warming. The company actively pursued measures to reduce its carbon footprint and explore cleaner energy alternatives for its vessels and operations. And it set up a deadline of cutting its emissions per container by 50% and 70% in its terminal by 2030. Maersk is also focusing more on the digital world, introducing online platforms and innovative technologies to streamline its services. These digital initiatives improved efficiency, allowing customers to book, track, and manage their shipments more effectively. But like many businesses, Maersk was affected by the COVID pandemic. The outbreak of the pandemic led to widespread lockdowns, port closures, travel restrictions, and disruptions to manufacturing and supply chains, causing a domino effect on global trade flows. Maersk swiftly mobilized its resources and expertise to navigate the rapidly changing market conditions and ensure the continuity of essential supply chain services. Recognizing the critical role it played in facilitating global commerce, Maersk took proactive measures to maintain its operations and support its customers' needs. The company's ability to adapt to constantly evolving situation was crucial in ensuring that essential goods, such as medical supplies, food, and other essential commodities continued to flow uninterrupted to communities around the world. Today, Maersk continues to be one of the biggest shipping companies in the world, controlling over 17% of the market and operating one of the biggest fleets in the world with over 700 container vessels. Among these ships is one of the largest cargo ships in the world, the Triple E-Class, which can carry 20,600 TEUs or 20-foot equivalent units. Now you may be curious, how much does Maersk make? Maersk's global revenue is estimated to be $39 billion and rising. And as the global demand for shipping rises, we can only expect it to grow more. Maersk continues to dominate shipping, and there's nothing to stop the continued growth of it. But if you are interested in how Nike dominated its industry or Apple's new Vision Pro, check out our video. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about finance, technology, and business. For now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.